Hi, this is R. Ema Vardhani, Assistant Professor, Department of English from Sri Krishna Swami College for Women. Today we are going to learn about an essay, Rights of Man by Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine, he was born on 1736 and he passed away in the year 1809. He was a political activist, revolutionary leader and a philosopher. He wrote a few pamphlets on supporting the French Revolution. His work revolved around the natural human rights of a common man and Paine supported the French Revolution. While Edmund Burke did not approve, Paine's work became much more popular during his period. So in a earlier video, we had a look about Edmund Burke's reflections on the revolution in France, where he is not supporting the French Revolution, whereas he supports the American Revolution. So this book, Rights of Man, it was written during the period of 1791 and 1792. It is a book of two parts with 31 articles. And here Paine says that the common man is ready to overthrow the government in a revolution. The first portion of the work argues that human rights are unalienable. That is, if you are a common man, you need to receive your basic fundamental rights and if you aren't receiving it properly then you are in the place to question regarding it and get it and a human right is something which is unalienable so that means a common man is always revolved around his basic human rights and you can't separate a right of a man that is what this work rights of man by thomas paine states here Thomas Paine states that the French government failed to uphold the interest of the French people. So the people in the France, they are not satisfied with the government and they are ready to take up a revolutionary step. Paine believed that they were within their God-given rights to overthrow the government. So Paine believes that God has given right to all the common man in the world. And one such right is to overthrow the government when it is not benefiting the common man. He draws a distinction between killing the king, that is the man, and killing the office of the king. So he is giving us two distinctions sort of view, that is killing the king and the other one is killing the office of the king, which is where the king decides or you know, you, he makes up new sorts of decisions. So he is asking the people not to kill the king but to overthrow the government that is the office of the king. So in the conclusion he states whatever he has got from the ideology enlightenment which has received from John Locke. So if you see Thomas Paine is a follower of John Locke. Okay, So remember that and here in the final part of the essay he is we can see that you know how much Thomas Paine is being influenced by John Locke because he mentions about it over there. However, Paine argues that to serve common man is the goal. Essentially, Burke didn't believe that the common man was intelligent enough. So the problem with Edmund Burke was that he didn't believe that a common man can take care of his own rights, can you know ask questions or whatsoever. So he says that the total concept of French Revolution has to be, you know, not taken into account and please don't support it. This was what a statement was to depend. But when you take a Paine, Thomas Paine is arguing that the common man has an ultimate goal that is following and attaining his rights. Rights of man, this work was one of the major influence in the development of US government and also if you see Edmund Burke, uh, he published reflections in the period of 1790. Uh, so this work, Rights of Man, it was an ulterior reply to that work where Paine is stating very strongly that French Revolution has to be taken into account and uh, people should receive their rights. So I hope you have understood Thomas Paine's uh, rights of man. Thank you.